Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, The Baking Diva. And for those of you that are new here, my name is Dolores, I'll put it up on the screen. Well, I've been on a roll lately, making such yummy recipes in my slow cooker. Well, today I'm gonna make for you what I call the lazy man's lasagna. That's right, could be the lazy women's lasagna too. And it's so simple, no more boiling the lasagna noodles. It's even easier than if you use those no-bake lasagna noodles. It comes out so good, and of course, how easy could it be making it in your slow cooker? So, the first thing we're gonna need is to brown a pound of ground beef, and I'm gonna add some onion and some spices to it. So come on over with me to the stove, and we'll do that part of it first. You're gonna love this. Okay, I have a frying pan here, and the first thing you're gonna do is take one pound of ground beef, and we're going to place it into our frying pan. Let me turn on the gas. All righty. Now we're gonna add some spices to this. So, first of all, I'm gonna add to this a cup of white onions chopped. So let me just put those in, whoopsie, around the meat. I have my meat chopper, but today I'm just gonna use this wooden spoon. That's fine. Okay. All right. Next, I'm going to add to this a half a teaspoon of salt. So I will just eyeball that. I think I'm pretty good at that now. We're gonna need a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. So let me grind a little bit of that in there now. We wanna make this meat nice and tasty. That should do it. Okay. Next we need a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder. So I'll measure that one out for you. <laughs> All right, put that in. And last but not least, we're gonna use a half a teaspoon of dried oregano. So let me put that in for you here. All righty. Now we're gonna cook this until the meat is browned. We're not gonna drain all the liquid out of the meat. We're gonna leave in there just a few tablespoons to keep it moist. So let me get this all browned and cooked. And when it's done, I'll head back over to the island and I'll show you how we put this lazy man's lasagna together. You will love it. All right, the meat looks nice and brown now, so I'm gonna transfer it over to a bowl, making sure that I leave a little bit of the juice in there. With okay, I'm back. I browned my meat and I have it in a bowl here. Now you're gonna obviously need a slow cooker and you're gonna spray the inside of your slow cooker with a nonstick spray. Doesn't matter whether it's nonstick, spray it anyway. Okay, I happen to be using an olive oil cooking spray, but you can use any cooking spray. Now, what we're gonna do first is we need marinara sauce. Now, my all-time favorite is Rayos. It might be a little pricey. It's R-A-O apostrophe S. I usually wait till it's on sale and then I buy a couple of jars of it. What I like second best is the Victoria sauce. I love that. The rest of them, eh. So I'd rather buy what I call a really good quality sauce because it just really does make everything taste better. But you use whatever marinara sauce you want. So you're going to need 
24 ounces for this recipe. And this jar is a 24 ounce jar. Whoa. <laughs> so anyway, right now I'm going to put half of this jar into my slow cooker. So excuse me, I have to stand up for this. That looks like about half. Let me spread that around in there. Cover the bottom of the pan. Alrighty. Okay. Now, you're going to need frozen raviolis for this. I use the cheese raviolis because you're making lasagna. And don't use ones that are defrosted or not frozen. They must be frozen for this recipe. So I happened to be in Aldi's the other day and they had these. I have never bought them before. They're Priano, P-R-I-A-N-O cheese ravioli. It says they use only the finest ricotta and Roman cheese. So we'll see. Premium pasta stuffed with a smoothing blend of fresh ricotta cheese and seasoning. So I'm going to try these today. It says you're going to need 25 ounce bag of raviolis. And this one happens to be, woo, 25 ounces. So I'm going to place half of this bag of raviolis on top of my marinara sauce. I'm sorry, I have to stand up again to do this. I'll try to take a picture inside the slow cooker so you could see how I place the raviolis. There's no rhyme or reason. Just take half your bag and layer it on top of that yummy marinara sauce. Now I have to tell you, I'm Italian and I grew up with Italian food. I don't think I ever saw my mother use a jar sauce. She always made her own. And I like to make my own. I like the way it tastes. But honestly, this is such a time saver. So I say save time <laughs> wherever you can. And these sauces nowadays they're making are so delicious. But why not, right? Why not? We all are very busy. We have busy schedules and any shortcuts we can take, I'm all for it. So I think that's about half of the bag. Okay, I'm going to take a quick little photo of this so you could see what I did. Okay, next I'm going to take all of my ground beef and I'm going to place it on top of the ravioli layer. Got to stand up again for this one. <laughs> oh yeah. Why not? Looks good to me. Mm -hmm. I have to take my dog to the vet today. She's like 14 years old. And she's having some issues. So she's been keeping me up at night. The diva's not getting much sleep, so the vet's going to see her in a little while. So this will be cooking while I take her to the vet. All right. Okay, looks good. All right, so all the ground beef now is on top of our layer of ravioli. Now... I am going to put the remaining frozen raviolis on top of the ground beef. Maybe I can do this sitting down. <laughs> My glasses, they keep flipping up on me. I don't know what's going on with that. Let me see. I think this is going to be good. Quick and easy. I'm all for quick and easy. <laughs> I might have to stand up. Sorry. I'm short. I'm a shrimp. I'm only five foot two. I used to be five, three and a half, but I think 
As I got older, I shrunk. Does that happen to anybody else or just me? All right, looking good, looking good. Top. All right, that um, 25 ounce bag of the frozen raviolis is perfect to make two layers. Uh, in your slow cooker. All right, so well, that looks good. Put that over here. Now I'm going to put the remaining half a jar of my marinara sauce on top of the raviolis. So I'm just going to pour that on. I mean, really, could it be any easier? I don't think so. Oh, I love this sauce. It just this sauce. This sauce tastes just like homemade to me. I don't know. Let me see. Oh yeah. What's in it? Italian whole peeled tomatoes, olive oil, onion, salt, garlic, basil, black pepper, and oregano. And no sugar. I don't like sugar in my sauce. All right, let me just spread that around on top. Okay. So this happens to be a 16 ounce bag of shredded mozzarella. We need eight ounces. And we're gonna sprinkle it on the top of all of our marinara sauce. Oh boy. Looks good already and it's not even cooked. I just want to cover that with that nice cheese. Oh, yeah. Don't make a mess, Diva. Stand up. Your subscribers won't care. <laughs> All right. All right. I think that's more than enough. Okay. That looks like half the bag? Yeah. All righty. Now, wasn't that easy so far? Now, what are we going to do next? I'm going to place my lid on the slow cooker. Let me get it over here. Okay. I'll clean up this mess later. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm going to put this on low. You should bake this on low. And we're going to put it on, I'm going to put it on low for four hours. And then we're going to serve it immediately and hot. So let me turn it on low. Here we go. And I'll put it on, well, four hours. So let me turn this. And this will be perfect. I'm heading to the vet in a little while. It's about 2 o'clock. I'll be home, and this will be ready to eat at 6. So don't go away. Oh, that's my parrot screeching in the background. Sorry. But don't go away. I'm going to do a taste testing and show you what this looks like after it's cooked. So stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. It said to cook this on low for four hours, but I just took a peek at it and it's been three and a half hours and it looks done to me. So I'm gonna cut a piece of that, put it on this plate and do a taste testing. Let's see. It smells good. Feels like it's cooked. Let's see if I can get this out. Oh my goodness gracious, look at this. Oh, I'll turn it around. I'll do a close up for you so you can see it. Oh, it looks yummy. Oh, look at that. Oh, so let me do a taste. I'll let you know what I think. Oh, this is my lazy man's lasagna. Mmm, here we go. It's very hot. Oh, I should tell you, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you want to see more of these recipes, just hit that little bell. I really appreciate it. It helps my channel to grow. So let's give this a try. Well, 
All I can tell you is, tastes exactly like lasagna that you would have to put all that work into. And you saw how easy this was to make. Well, everybody's sitting around me waiting to eat. They're all hungry. My grandson Kyle stopped over. He keeps saying, when are we eating, right Kyle? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so I wanna thank all of you for stopping by and spending some time with me. I really appreciate it. I love each and every one of you. Now, I'm gonna go feed the family, so I'll see you all very soon. Toodles!